You know, most people walk around not knowing what their worth is. I was reminded of a little story yesterday that tells a good example of it. Then at the end, I'm going to tell you how you can know what your worth is, no matter what the situation. So a young man comes up to his father. He says, Dad, I really want to know what my life is worth. His father looks at him. He says, I'll tell you what you do. I want you to take that stone. You go on down to the marketplace. When somebody asks you how much for that stone, don't say a word. Just hold up two fingers. Then come back and tell me what they said. So the young man goes off to the marketplace. The lady approaches after a while and she says, son, how much is for that stone right there? He just holds up two fingers. The lady says, two dollars? I'll take that stone for two dollars. A boy goes back home, tells his dad, dad, I went down to the marketplace, did exactly what you told me to do. I held up, the lady asked about the stone, I held up two fingers, she offered me two dollars for the stone. He said, all right, son. I want you to go down to the museum. Take that stone down there. Don't say a word. Somebody asked you how much for that stone. I want you to hold up two fingers. Gets down to the museum. A gentleman approaches him and says, how much for that stone right there? It's real nice. The little boy holds up two fingers. He offers him $200. Little boy's excited now. It's two hundred dollars. Runs home to his daddy. Get home. Tell dad, dad, daddy. I went down to the museum. My man came up, asked me about the stone. I held up two fingers. He asked me two hundred dollars for this stone. He said, "All right, son. I want you to do one more thing for me." He said, "I want you to go to the valuable. I want to go to the to the stone collection shop, precious stone shop." Don't say a word. Just hold up two fingers. The young man's excited now. He goes down to the precious stone shop. Walks in the door. The man looks up. Sees the young man. Sees the stone. Oh my God. That's the stone I've been searching for all my life. I've been looking for that stone. How much you want for it? The little boy holds up two fingers. $200,000. I'll take it for two hundred thousand dollars. Boy runs home excited. Daddy, 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 the man at the valuable at the stone collection place offered me two hundred thousand dollars for the same stone. That previously somebody only offered two hundred at the museum and two dollars at the marketplace. Now some of you may have heard this story before. It's an old Buddhist story. But the story goes across all cultures and all subject matters. Oftentimes, the value that we have depend upon the environment that you're in. Now, I know some people are going to say you have to raise your own value. You have to know your own value, and that's good. You should know your own value and never settle for anything less than what you believe that your value is. But I'm here to tell you that your true value is based on the environment that you're in. If you out looking for a wife, you can have a room full of a hundred people. And that room full of a hundred women are going to look at you differently. Each one is going to place a different value on you. One may value you for your physical looks. Another one may value you for your brain. Another one may value you for your body. And any combination of things, they may value for how much money you make. They may value for your age, value you for your experience. There are so many different things that creates your value to each individual person, but the true value is based on the person that you want to be with, the person that you're around. Your friends do the same thing. Your job does the same thing. Hell, your religion does the same thing. This is an old Buddhist story, but it goes across for every religion. But in every instance of your life, the true value that you have is based on who's looking at you, who's valuing what you are and who you are. Yeah. Do what you need to do to love yourself. That's your first value. How much you love yourself is your first value. And you can tell how much you love yourself by what you allow other people to do in your life. 
the other people you allow in your environment. If you sit around and you allow yourself to be with a man or a woman and they don't treat you the way you deserve to be treated or the way you think you deserve to be treated because that's based on your value, what you, des the, what you think you deserve to be treated is based on your value. If they're not treating you based on what you or your perceived value is, then you definitely should walk away. But some of y'all out there getting treated way better than the value that you even have for yourself. And that's not a bad thing. My question to that one is, are you treating that other person with equal value that they have for themselves or more? You know, and all, value, all treatment of value don't look the same. It doesn't look the same. There's a lot of things my lady does for me. I don't necessarily do the exact same thing back to her, but I do things uh, that makes her that so that she sees the value that I have for her. I do things to show her how, well, how I care about her. It's the difference. You ain't got to do the same thing. Equal, equal don't mean the same thing, but value does. You see, uh, if I drop by her office and give her some flowers and some things of that nature, that holds more weight than if I make the bed. That, that, that holds more weight than if I cook a meal. You know, it holds more weight. Whereas it's the opposite for me. I'm not a gift guy. I don't really like gifts. Gifts don't do nothing for me. I've known people who try to give me gifts all the time and think that's how, the, how I receive their affection, how I see their how much they value me, but that, that doesn't work for me. So it's the environment. You know, see, I, I, was, I was placing myself in the market well, my value was two dollars because that wasn't something that I desired. Later on, I put myself in a museum. It wasn't what I desired. Hell, I even got more than a damn precious stone shot right now. It's because I looked around and looked at the environment that I wanted to put myself in, looked at the environment and the places that I want to be, the way that I want to be treated. If I wasn't being treated, didn't have the life that I want to have, didn't be, weren't able to smile like I want to smile, have fun like I want to have fun. If I couldn't go out there and do the things I want to do without worry or constantly worrying about stressing about what somebody's thinking of doing, knowing that there is full 100% trust in everything, knowing that I can, we can have fun no matter what's going on, knowing that I ain't got to check in every 10 minutes, uh, you know, being able to go and enjoy life, be able to enjoy just the moments of sitting there looking at the, the birds and looking at the stars and knowing that I got somebody there that's going to watch that with me and have a good time. Knowing that if I decide I want to go take a ride with my brother on my motorcycle, there's no problem, no issue. But if I want you to come with me, you're going to jump right on the back of that joint. We're going to hit these here roads. To have that kind of value. That they see that value. That's that value that I appreciate. You got to you gotta find that value that you appreciate. You got to have somebody in your life that's going to treat you the way you want to be treated. That's going to love you the way you want to be loved. You got to be selfish about this thing. You got to know exactly what you desire and what's going to give you the greatest amount of joy, the greatest amount of happiness, the greatest amount of fulfillment. And then you got to go and be in that environment, whether it's relationship, whether it's work, whether it's religion, whether it's family, health, no matter what the subject matter is, you got to go and put yourself in the environment that's going to give you the greatest amount of happiness and joy and peace and tranquility so that you can get all the value that this life has to offer. Because this life has a lot to offer. No matter how you slice it, whether you uh, think that this is the end, you know, you come here, this is it, or you, there's an afterlife, or uh, whatever you consider to be the purpose of life. There's a lot of joy here. There's a lot of variety here. There's a lot of things to be squeezed out of this life. And to sit around and waste that time uh, accepting whatever the marketplace has told you is your value or whatever the marketplace is willing to pay you that's just a wasted life and you need to get out there go to the museum if that's the highest value or joy you can get out of it then yeah, okay that's it but even when you go there you know you're missing out on a lot a lot so y'all need to get out there know your value but go get more than your value because somebody's going to value you. Some environment is going to value you 10 times, 20 times, 30 times than what you expect. But you're going to miss out if you allow yourself to stay stuck. So let's get a move on and go on out there and enjoy this life. This damn cowboy hat got me talking differently today, but it's all right. <laughs>
Okay, all right, all right.